Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well and welcome to a brand new series, a brand new series of Alan Wake 2. Yes, we are back. It has been a f about a month and a half actually, since I think about a month and a half since I've done a, a video now. Uh, so yeah, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, uh, March 2024 and we are ready to kick back off uh, with a brand new series here of Alan Wake 2. And yeah, I think this one is definitely going to have more chance of like continuing on than um, Mafia 4, uh, Mafia 3 did, sorry, Mafia 4, what? Mafia 3 did uh, back in um, uh, late February time. Uh, but yeah, we are back here um, on this uh, Tuesday evening where we're going to be kicking off uh, the brand new series of Alan Wake 2. Now, the plan is for this game to run through March. There'll be a few other videos in between in March, but this will be our main focus in March on the channel. And uh, as we get, and this will run up into the early part of March, which is, of course, the uh, Connor on Games 3 launch weekend, uh, week, sorry, launch week it is on a Tuesday this year. Exactly four weeks today, by the way, uh, since uh, until uh, COG 3 begins, COG 3. Um, yeah, I'm going to say COG 3 because if I say COG, it sounds like I'm saying something else. And that's not what I meant. So, yeah, um, yeah, we are back with Alan Wake 2. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, the Connor on Games, um, Cog, Cog 3, COG 3. Uh, launch week will begin on uh, the Easter weekend, which is uh, the 30th, 31st of March. So, yeah, that's when that will be um, exclusively revealed today on this uh, video, on this uh, return. Uh, but we will make an official announcement in Discord in the next week or so. Uh, we are going to uh, click new game here. We're just going to go. Oh, if you don't know what this game is, by the way, um, this game is basically a, like, sort of like a. I'd say it like a survival horror sort of detective game. It's quite interesting. It's got a lot of horror aspects in it. It's got a lot of like mystery aspects into it. It is a bit of a it is a bit of a slow burner. So the first few episodes will be a bit of a slow burner, but then we really will get into it around episode three, four times. So yeah, that's that's exactly what's gonna happen. But the first few episodes are interesting as well, and it's important for the story. Uh, so yeah, um, I've not seen much of this game. I've just seen clips of it and um reviews of it and stuff like that uh, so yeah we're just gonna go here and um, do we want a story normal or hard <sighs> oh are we able to change this later on that's the question uh. oh it's tough story normal or hard i, I kind of want the story but i'm gonna go normal i think i just clicked the wrong button I just clicked the wrong button. Why? Okay, I will be back in a second when I have clicked the right button. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> also, what I'm gonna trial out is this sort of darker webcam. You know, it's got like a spooky vibe to it. You can still see me in the darker moments. Like, you can't see me very well, but... Um, yeah, so actually, what this does is it allows my light to be um, further away, so I don't actually see the light that much, um, so it's better for me. And maybe it'll be better for the video as well, so I want to give this a go for the first episode, see if it works out. Of course, the, the webcam will go brighter, the, the brighter scenes and the darker darker scenes. So I want to see how this works. Maybe, maybe it will work out. We'll see. See, already it's not that dark. Back to the beginning. Okay, bro, do you mind actually speaking without cutting out? Story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live Thank with that you. hope without ever knowing the full story. God, that was cutting out like crazy there. Got my mocha in my current Connor and Games cup today. A lovely mocha, a mix of hot chocolate and coffee. See, I don't usually like... In a horror story, in a horror story oh, okay. there are only victims Sorry, and monsters. Sorry, bro. I spoke over you. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Do you mind the subtitles being like a little bit more in line with the voice? That would be fantastic. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. I'm just gonna turn subtitles off. That's very. And monsters wear many faces. That's very disorienting and very weird. Okay. Well, 
that's that. It's also wet. Shower, some deodorant, that would help. Why? Oh, it won't let me pan to the front, that's a shame. What a shame that is. <laughs> Where the hell am I? What the actual? Have I got... The graphics on high because it is lagging a little bit. I might just drop it to high on some of this because it is a little bit laggy. I mean, my PC is okay, but I don't trust it as much. We'll just go with high then now. We don't need to be on quality preset high, will do. That's not what I had it on. But sure, we'll go with that. Motion blur is terrible. Who wants that? No one. Um, This should be fine. Notice it is a little bit choppy, but it should be okay. What on earth? What, what is he doing? Where am I going? Oh, where are they going? Why? Like, why? Like, what, what is this about? I'm intrigued, though. Like, why this guy is naked in the forest? Like, why? No! Uh-oh. Who's speaking? I don't like it. Oh, oh my bloody god! Are you serious? That made me jump. Why am I hallucinating? That's way further than hallucinations. No. No. Oh yeah, let's just walk through this very welcoming tree. You can sprint by toggling left shift. Okay. What's gonna happen? <gasps> Okay, so we've got the horror aspect already. It's like Blair Witch at the minute. <laughs> Where are we going? Like, who is this guy? Hello? Hello? Um... Um... No! Well, he's dead. And I've lost my audio. Okay. The audio is doing something weird.
That's why you shouldn't walk in the woods alone at night. Because stuff like that might happen. Alan Wake 2. Lovely intro. Very, very heartwarming. Can this game, like, seriously stop messing up the, the audio, please? Like, what is actually going on? Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. Gotta love a no game's made-up show. Spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! <laughs> I will. Bye, kiddo. Lead vegetation artist. There's a, an artist for vegetation. Wow. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Ah, yes, that's one pound cappuccino. So good. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. I would love the Think voice to be the in sync with the audio. Uh, the speaking. Okay. Any words of advice? Yeah, don't do it. Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Hmm. Very eerie, isn't it? Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Yeah, it's gonna go well. I'm sure it will. Cauldron Lake, eh? A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. Trees. What? Swallowed up by the trees? Why would you get swallowed up by the trees? Okay. The map displays key locations in the area. You're the one who wanted Thanks. To I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Yeah, I'm coming too. Oh yeah, I'll just stay here and die. Sure. That works. Wait. Hey! Over here. Oh no, I thought I'd just go up there. Uh, it's Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. You're half right? Anderson. So he's half left. Saga <laughs> Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I... I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Uh... Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking Called around outsiders. the woods at night. The city folk is pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. That but guy's well dodgy. Sheriff Breaker took it's always the police officers that are the most dodgy, corrupt ones. I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's 
person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Yeah. Do we really want to look at this? I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's really yeah. simple. Let's go. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. Convenience you can't store? Miss it. What? Everything's been closed since the area Convenience fence store, what, like, Premier? The store, the campground, all of them. A little Premier in the forest. They'll probably still make you uh, not pay by car until you spent £3. <laughs> Meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Okay. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Oh. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. I can see clearly now the rain. Sorry. Case board? The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. And just about get away with wearing that uh, jumper in January. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts case are on board. The board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Oh, okay. Worth taking another look. Worth it. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Oh wow, it's a bit like Sherlock here. You can use WSD to move around. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. So this is um, 2010. Alan Wake 1 was released. So this is... I've never played Alan Wake 1, so I don't know. Wendy Davis, a teacher... Let me, let me have a look at, what the heck? Let me see it. Oh, I know, I know I'm free to navigate around. What do you think I'm trying to do? Wendy Davis teacher, Percy Wolf, murder method, slight difference in murders, bloating only come on, come on, stop saying this word, in bodies but not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water post-mortem, Bruising on wrists and legs, deep gash in the chest, heart missing, all bodies. So these are previous ones. Killer profile, post-mortem. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Oh no, this is this. Okay. Nice. Get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thorne at the general store. Okay. Um, get to the crime scene. We're quite far away from the crime scene right now. What? Okay. Uh. Yeah. I couldn't find the door. <laughs> I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Okay. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Just getting Let's started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Graphics look pretty good for a medium uh, quality nature. game. This is not ultra at all. There's too much sky. Too much sky? What, what do you want more of? More plants? Oh, what happened there? Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. Oh. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yeah. Real funny. Oh, I love the I love the setting of this game. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Stairs are down, you okay to jump down? It's a bit delayed. <laughs> uh, a bit early, I mean. Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain in the mount in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Ca Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected in the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Wow. I love these little, uh, his like, sort of... Like, we're not just going down, not knowing where we are. We're actually getting told where we are. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I love the setting. It's really nice. So 
It's gone awfully quiet. Cauldron Lake. Tells me something's about to go down. Let's go, Not let's run. Place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Yeah. Oh, that's a spooky. It's starting Damn. to rain. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. True. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Yeah. Next coffee's on you. Oh, there's a general store. The voice is up ahead. General store, Cauldron Lake. Hey! You can't see it because of the webcam, but yeah. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me. Hello. That's your service. Ready to get this case solved. Yeah. Now the body's behind the store. Come on. I'll body's show you. behind the store. Let's go. That's ironic. So, FBI, huh? Nah, I'm KFC. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Oh, please what? stop with these acronyms. Real? You guys hiring? <laughs> this is TMI. Let's just see this body, shall we? This SHT as well. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's the guy that we were playing as and we were wondering what the hell was going on. And now we are here to figure out what the hell is going on. Now, this is the scene of the crime. Oh, oh really? Table. Oh, oh really? I just nothing, you know. Procedures and stuff. Yep. Thanks, Procedures. Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Oh. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Oh, Does okay. this fit the MO of the previous murders? The MO. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Hmm. Cauldron. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Cauldron late murder scene consistent with previous murders. Ooh. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect time. We need to see if this is linked to the killings here. We need to investigate. Getting a new line of investigation. Oh, okay. So this is the murder scene stuff. Okay, got it. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Oh, I like this. Objective are viewable at the case board near goals. Okay. Investigate the crime scene. So we need to basically find another one to go here. And that links it. It's very much like Sherlock in a way. So we've got question marks here. It'll ask us a question. Would it have been this or would it have been that, basically? And I imagine at the very end of the game, we have a choice of, like, two people who murdered or something. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but I think definitely somebody that we've met has got something to do with this. So we need to keep an eye out. We need to be, have our thinking caps on. We need to be two steps ahead. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Oh. I mean, could have put it on his sleeve, you know. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. This guy, I bet this guy wears his heart on his sleeve anyway. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what? So, how do I do that? Like, just pop it? Wait, what? <sighs> the open question? Well... I don't have an open question. Bruising indicates victim was alive when restrained. Matches other cases. How do I, how do I move it? Cargo straps used to heart found near victim's body. Mm -hmm. Do I need to, how does this work? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. 
So yeah. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Strange Definitely one. Definitely matches the previous murders. Hmm. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Yeah. The victim, the killers. Who is the victim? The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. You can check the updated goals by pressing control. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. This game can definitely be very interesting. I think it will be a slow burner, but I think it will definitely be one of those really good games. I, I would think so, anyway. I'd like to think so. Who yeah. is our victim? Who killed him? Hmm. It was that guy. Clues. Called it. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 oh, years ago. 2010. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Yeah, it's a bit sexist. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings. Uh. What is that? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. That's interesting. We didn't work any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Uh deduction available. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple mm. killers? Yeah, there's more than two types of shoe. Uh, more than one type of shoe, sorry. Someone was drinking beer. Mm. They spent time here, waiting. I mean, you do silly things when you're drunk, don't you? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Oh no! Was it for a camera? Hmm, but I don't know what else it would be for. Oh, holding a gun, maybe. I caused the bottom left corner and to get the critical content is available in the main palace. Okay. Deduction available. Oh my god. I'll put more clues on now. How do I? Oh, okay. Well, so, so the killer's multiple sets of footprints. Heavy blood splatter on the table. Victim? Nope. No? Okay. I guess. What is the blood? Is it? Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Quite the party indeed. For later, tripod and... Oh, okay, so I can't use these now. Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. <clears throat> it's a potential. How do I, like... Oh, okay. I trust cases read on people. It sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Tripod found near Boris. That's to do with the killer, surely. Oh? Oh, premeditated or spontaneous. <sighs> Beer. Hmm. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time. Premeditated. The they were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Hmm. Has he been living why in the here? woods for 13 years? Why now? Living off like plants and stuff. 
well, you know, you know, vegetarians become the big thing now. Get into the subject's head, see what they saw, feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Hmm. You can use profile and in, inside Saga's mind part of place to get inside of heads of suspects and victims. Oh, and using our intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Missing person or ritual murder. Oh. He's been missing for 30 I'm going to miss Agent person. Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Retro murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm. Agent Nightingale has been oh, no, no. for 13 Go away. years. Okay. What's this? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. Okay. Nightingale came from Cauldron Lake. Yeah, he must have. Wait. How did he come from Cauldron? Well, he must have done. The state of him. Okay. Where's he been? That's the big question. So he's been missing for 13 years. What the hell was he doing from 2010 to 2023? Often ask myself the same question. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's leave. I don't know if we need to or not. What's my goals? Check the lake, sure. Okay, so we need to go and check Cauldron the Lake, The lake basically. is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Come on, Casey. Okay, Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, right. I'll just, uh, this is left. I'll just wait here. Are we going right or left? Right? Is that is that right? Or are we going left? This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale Must have came done. up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. I don't think it finds shelter in the lake they unless it's a fetch. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The Definitely nude. He was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. What's the noises? No trees got that big. What's this? Gives me the creeps. A witch. Yeah, with thank. No heart. There is no mystery a in Cauldron Lake being named after us. Hmm. Mysterious stories about the lake. It's been a gloomy doorway to the underworld or or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of being of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her Oh, this doesn't bode well. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers if if she was not a witch before she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowned him in the lake. There's a lot of stories about um people getting drowned in the lake. So yeah. That's so well. Oh, also, there's a hole in his chest. Just like... Oh, okay. Just like the victim. Hmm. 
Come on, bro. Wow, that is one tall tree. Why is there a note There's here? a piece of paper on the ground. Come on, then pick it up. Tracks, barefoot. Hmm. Nightingales? Maybe. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Doesn't. I think something's gonna go down here. This is not bold well. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The what? victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Run as fast and as you can. Oh found. my god. <laughs> the first step down into terrifying depths. <gasps> oh no. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept? Even, Even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. them. They knew they were coming here after they killed Nightingale. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either this is he crazy. took this page, or the killers left it for us. Oh, okay. That's interesting. We're going to the profile and yeah. The page. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? Oh, it's getting cold in here. Curious words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Oh, thank God it was his chest. I must find out what. <laughs> Someone was put in his chest. What was put in his chest then? And then if they find the murder weapon, doubt that's going to happen. Footprints are measured from under the rock. Trail has gone cold. It has, because we're blocked. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Anything else here? Nightingale has something heading inside of him. Maybe? There's more going on here than I'm seeing. I need to examine his body properly back in town. Hmm. <laughs> Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Hmm. This could be interesting. Okay, let's go and examine this body. See if we can find anything worth um. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Uh, are we, are we like going back now or are we just sitting about here waiting to die? Let's, let's go back. Oh God, I'm, I'm actually terrified of this game. What is that? Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a oh, thriller. General I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... What? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? I don't like these noises. Design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens oh, wow. to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I don't like those creaky noises. Why? Who the hell would live there? Where am I going? 
Back to the general back here, okay. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. Where is it gone? So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> Am I going back to the murder scene, I guess? Is that the ideal? Oh, the murder scene's down here. Hi. Well, he took a strange route. I think I took a strange route. Made it back. Yeah, Good. that's. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Yeah. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. Deer I'll Fest. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Brick. What's that? We're like sell everything extortionately. At the oh dear diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. That stair. Ta! Shortcut key. Thanks. Oh. Take a car back to Bright Let's Falls. get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Ah, that's gonna go well. Oh, okay. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. <laughs> Deputies aren't exactly up to the task. I'll lay the saga. Hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. The fun character. Surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much. I like the character so far. And I like the setting. The setting, the characters, the story is really good so far. It's got potential. Are you sure this is a shortcut? This is just a massive Can't hike. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a snuff film? Maybe. Well. <laughs> and why take out his heart just to throw it away? I think it's, it's more likely to be a porno. To, to be honest. <laughs> the way he was. I'll be back in a second. Roger. That's a very long second. Where's Casey going? Wait, am I going the wrong way? Where am I going? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. So this car, saws out. I wasn't sure. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. Well, I see the. With Audio glitches are kind of reduced a bit. Were moving fast. So it's just the cutscenes, really. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Me too. I'm just thrilled to be here. 
Oh, hello. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner. Hey, it's a first dear fest. Oh my god. I don't know why she's wearing a Christmas jumper, but sure. <laughs> what the hell is that? The oh. diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Okay, we're gonna leave it there for this first episode of um, uh, Alan Wake 2. Oh my god, I forgot what that was. What have I got in here? What is this? That's a Sainsbury's receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Anyway, that is going to be the first episode of Alan Wake 2. That was a really good first episode. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen in this second episode. Uh, yeah, so we actually did quite a lot in that first episode. We examined the body. We um, realised that there was a note for us that um, that was very mysterious. And like it's almost like people are watching us. So that's, that's very interesting. I was... Yeah, I did say that this game was going to be a slow burner, but I honestly think that we're really kicking it off really in style here in this first episode. And I think it's only going to get better here from here on in as well. So yeah, that's going to do it for this first episode of Alan Wake 2. We'll be back tomorrow with episode 2 on Wednesday. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at, uh, don't know what time, but yeah, I will confirm that in Discord and the YouTube community tab. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please that like button. If you want to keep it out with other videos on my channel, please subscribe. Include this Alan Wake 2 series, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. See you later.